So the hypersensitivity reactions are the overreactions of immune system to an antigen which would not normally trigger an immune response. There are four types of hypersensitivity reactions. Number one is the type one uh, hypersensitivity reaction which is also called anaphylactic or atopic reaction. It is actually IgE mediated immediate and it is occurring within minutes the reaction which is which occurs within minutes we call it as type 1 hypersensitivity clinical features are usually seen during the second time antigen exposure subsequent to the sensitization or priming that for the second time when the same antigen is ex uh, the person is exposed to the same antigen then the clinical feature would be obvious Histamine is released for the early clinical features because it is a preformed mediator. Mast cell is early and late phase mediator. Other late phase mediators are uh, platelet activating factor, prostaglandins, leukotrienes. Examples of type 1 hypersensitivity reactions are asthma, hay fever, atopic dermatitis, angioedema, bee stings, insect bites. All these, co all these cause immediate reactions and they are categorized as type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. Type 2 hypersensitivity reactions are also called cytotoxic type of reactions. The, uh, they are antibody mediated which are IgM, IgG. There is direct binding of antibody to host tissue. On tissues are recognized as foreign bodies and they uh, for, uh, recognized by them as foreign body and they produce anti antibodies against it. Opsonization leading to phagocytosis or complement activation. Hypersens uh, cytotoxicity usually due to natural killer cells. Antibody and complement lead to membrane attack complex activation. So, whenever there is a, uh, a reaction which is antibody mediated and the tissues are recognized, bodies, all tissues are recognized as foreign body, and there is opsonization, cytotoxicity, complement activation, we call it, we categorize it as type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. Examples are the rheumatic fever, blood transfusion reactions, misthemia gravis, Graves disease, hyperacute graft rejection. Type 3 hypersensitivity reactions are immune complex mediated. Antigen antibody complexes are produced which then uh, are deposited at different sites of the body causing inflammation. Phase 1 is the uh, formation of antibody about 5 days after the introduction of antigen. Once antigen enters the body, after 5 days antibody is produced against it, so it's a phase 1. In phase 2, the immune complexes, they get deposited in the glomeruli, joint, ha skin, heart and cerebral surfaces. Then in phase 3, immune complex mediated inflammation is seen 10 days after antigen administration and results in vasculitis, glomerulonephritis and arthritis. Once the antigen enters, antibody is produced against it. Then antigen antibody together form immune complexes that are deposited at different sites. And after 10 days, the elicit inflammation and results in vasculitis, glomerulonephritis and arthritis. Example is the post streptococcal glomerulonephritis, rheumatoid arthritis, hinoscholine purpura, HSP, SLE, systemic lupus erythematosus type is SLE is actually type 2 as well as type 3 type of hypersensitivity reaction. Then the serum sickness disease, hypersensitivity pneumonitis, formus lung, arthritis reaction, all these are the examples of type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. Now the type 4, type 4 is cell mediated, it is a delayed type hypersensitivity reaction mediated by CD4 plus T cells, directed cell toxicity by CD8 plus T cells, example is chronic graft rejection, graft versus host disease, sarcoidosis, Crohn's disease, tuberculin reaction, 
primary biliary cirrhosis, Guillain-Barre syndrome, multiple sclerosis. All these are the examples of type 4 hypersensitivity reaction which is cell mediated, T cell uh, mediated and uh, it is a delayed type of. Now let us summarize what we have studied is that type 1 hypersensitivity reaction is IgE mediated it is immediate one occurring within minutes and is also called anaphylactic or atopic hypersensitivity reaction then we have type 2 hypersensitivity reaction which is cytotoxic type antibody mediated and bodies on tissues are recognized as foreign bodies antibodies are produced against them and there is obstinization cytotoxicity then type 3 uh, hypersensitivity reaction is actually immune complex mediated in which antigen enters antibodies produced against it then the, these two make immune complexes and deposit at different sites of the body causing inflammation then the type 4 is delayed type it is cell mediated and actually T cell mediated and uh, uh, it is involved in uh, cellular immunity then the, their examples which are um, important for you to memorize for your exams hope my video is helpful for you and hopefully you understood thank you for watching